Hi Capricorn, good morning to you, Narai here. Going to do a quick reading for you. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. Okay. Going to get right to it. Thank you for liking my video, subscribing if you care to. I am trying to grow my channel. I do change how I do readings because I'm changing as a person. I do want to put that out there. And if this doesn't resonate now, this could possibly resonate later. Or you may just need to go to somebody else's video or another one of my Capricorn readings. Because it's not always going to be that every single video resonates with you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Spirit, please and thank you. This is going to be rather quick. One card already came out. First card to come out. The Page of Cups. This is like somebody... This could be somebody younger... I don't know why when I'm seeing this photo, it's making me think that somebody's acting beneath what they actually are or who they actually are, like somebody being very immature or petty. Because they may not know how to, they may not know how to handle their feelings or this could be somebody that has really unrealistic um, unrealistic ideas when it comes to love. I have the Four of Swords. This is the energy of someone that is taking time to meditate, thinking about things. It, to me, is similar, very similar to Hermit Mode. Mmm. Oh, five cards come out. So what I have is the Empress card. This is nurturing. This is somebody that can birth ideas. Somebody fertile. This is marriage material. I have the Five of Cups. This is having regrets, like feeling like you missed out on something. Then I have the Queen of Pentacles. I have the Devil. And I have the Seven of Swords. So what do I gather from this? I gather that maybe somebody was dealing with somebody that was immature in a relationship or just didn't really know how to handle things. Um, sometimes when I see this card, I get that somebody didn't have enough experience when it comes to love. And it could be somebody that was always playing games, may have finally had feelings, but they didn't really know how to show it or discussing feelings made them uncomfortable. I have that somebody, what I have is somebody may have not known how to be with you because they were not comfortable with their own feelings for you. And either this person had to sit and think and isolate about how they treated you or this, uh, this is you after dealing with this person. You'll see why I said how they treated you. Um, but this is taking time and meditating and just resting. Resting. And I think after this moment of rest, for you and possibly this person... You're nurturing yourself, but this person may have realized Capricorn was marriage material. Capricorn was marriage material. I feel like for some of you, the life of this person was better with you in it. And cross watchers, feel free to reverse the roles because this, of course, can always be reversed. But I feel that this person felt like life was so much better with you in it. And when I see this card, what it makes me think is of a person 
looking for that trait in you or that way of caring that you have in other people and not being able to find it. They can't replicate it because it's not in other people, it's you. And <clears throat> I remember watching a, I remember watching a preview recently and this woman's husband was leaving her and the lady said Nobody, who's going to treat him the way that I do? And the mother said, everyone, like every woman. But I feel that sometimes there's a certain way that people do things that a person loves or misses when they're not with them. So I have the five of cups. I have, reg I have regret, a missed opportunity. I feel like this person realizes that you're a missed opportunity and there may be other options and they may take them because you're not there but they don't really want them and then they have the queen of pentacles if this person is watching you this person is seeing you and this person is seeing that you're you're moving on for a lot of you you're moving on and some of you are even thriving and some of you may actually be doing better financially than you were when you were with this person. And this person could have possibly seen that there would have been a lot more abundance and joy in their lives if things had worked out with you. But I will say things don't work out for a reason. Maybe things didn't work out so you could see any negative toxic traits that you have Capricorn or this person had to realize for themselves the toxic traits that they have. I feel for some of you, this person kind of strung you along and kept you at a distance and that was their way of maintaining control. But they didn't realize how emotionally damaging it was for you in that relationship. Like it was emotional manipulation. It was emotional manipulation. And this person had secrets and was trying to get away with things. And for some of, for some of them, they were trying to get away with just acting like they didn't care about you when they know that they loved you. And they probably still do for some of them. But this person is so used to having to protect their feelings, probably because of something that has happened to them in the past that they, their way of safeguarding themselves and protecting themselves is by not being too attached to one person possibly. Don't ask me where all this is coming from. I have no idea. Um, part of it I'm getting from the cards, the other part is intuitively. But I feel that for some of you, now there, there will be some of you where this person was straight up nothing whether it's Capricorn or not, the person trying to get away with stuff was actually doing whatever you thought that they were doing, having multiple people. But some people were actually trying to dibble and dabble with multiple people because the thought of having all of their feelings go into one person was very scary and intimidating because they were so used to playing the field that they never really had anybody that they wanted to give their all to. And they didn't realize that they really wanted to give their all to you until things were ruined and you left. Oh my God. Self-love. You guys learn to put yourself first and to really focus on self-love. And for some of you, and of course, this, this comes with pain. Um, for some of you, this, this person learned that they were really not showing love. And they're realizing how much they love you. But for a lot of you Capricorns, this gives me the energy that someone else is coming to offer you love. For some, it could actually be this person, whoever this person is. Um, but for others of you... Love is coming, and it's coming from a different direction. 
I didn't see it. But let me take it. Ooh, <laughs> it's coming fast, Cappies. It's coming fast. Damn it, I saw it. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. So what, <laughs> what happens here is that it is coming fast because I have the Ten of Cups too. You will have the Ten of Cups with someone. This is to me somebody that you can actually build something with, somebody that's on the same page, somebody that wants to settle down. Somebody that wants to settle down now, is this going to be traditional and it's going to be marriage? I don't know. But this is somebody that wants to settle down and have a, a happy family and a happy home. There doesn't have to be a family or marriage in order for there to be a happy home and happy family. But I have that you're closing out cycles. I feel that you're doing things differently. You guys have grown and are doing things differently. And this is you, <clears throat> excuse me, this is you realizing that sometime, sometimes life comes full circle. And that will especially be the case for you guys that have, has this person from the past come back because they've grown and they're pulling up their big girl panties and underwear, briefs, boxers, <laughs> and um, coming and letting you know that they know where their flaws were and what they did and why and they're sorry but for the rest of you um this could be somebody at a distance for some of you this could be a person at a distance too that was your past person but i'm feeling um like you are actually seeing the world in a different light like some of you are being more realistic about what is out there and what you see and what you put yourself through instead of this Hollywood fan fantasy idea of what love is. So I feel like you guys are being more realistic, but you're closing out cycles and you're learning these lessons. And um, I think I'm gonna leave you with that and I think this is good. I feel like a lot of you are focused on your money, but th this person also knows that if they come back and I think the way that you have changed Capricorn for the ones that I'm speaking to, whoever this new person is, they're going to know because you're going to let them know or you're going to show them. If you're not putting energy into Capricorn, Capricorn's not going to put energy into you because this needs to be a give and take. This is not going to be a you take all of Capricorn's energy and Capricorn's here for your convenience because that absolutely is not the damn case. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. Thank you for liking the video, subscribing, and sharing if you feel called to. I love you guys, and until next time, bye.